Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Elden Ring in case you have not bought the game from Steam or you have cracked it or pirated it or own it through, through non-Steam platforms. So basically, first thing you have to know is that the, uh, you have to install mod engine into your main game directory as opposed to the normal way of installing mod engine into another separate directory. Basically, why you have to do this is because mod engine basically accesses your steam library to in order to launch elden ring through its bat file which in in the case that you have not brought and bought elden ring from steam it will not work and basically will crash the game two seconds after loading up so first thing you want to do for modding elden ring is to download mod engine preview 3 which at this point in time is currently the latest version of L in the mod engine so you are going to download it I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to do it again but you have to download it and it add it's as it's the primary mod loader for Elden Ring so the next thing you want going to want to do is to open and uh, open the archive for mod engine over here like this once you've opened the mod engine archive what you're gonna do is you're going to select everything in the directory and extract it to the place where you have downloaded or installed Elden Ring so I've installed Elden Ring over here now you're going to select the into the, El in the Elden Ring folder you're going to select this game folder this is the main directory of Elden Ring where all the executables and everything are so you're going to extract mod engine to the game folder in Elden Ring after you have done this I've already extracted it so I'm not doing it so after you've extracted it mod engine should load up you're going to want to test it once before installing any mod since I've already tested that it already works so the next thing you want to do want to do is you're going to want to install a mod you're going to select the mod you want to install for this purpose I have going I have selected bosses and NPCs paired summons mod so you're going to want to download this mod once you have download I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to do it so once you have downloaded the mod what you're going to do is you're going to open its archive again so here is where you have to pay a little bit of attention as the thing you have to keep in mind is that the both the mo uh, mod and mod engine and this mod come with this mod folder so the thing you have to keep in mind is that since mod engine already has a mod folder over here you have you're not going to want to use this mod folder you have to instead go inside it and all these files that are inside this mod folder you're going to want to in extract them here in the mod engine mod folder that you have in the game directory as you can see i've extracted them already over here so after this your mod should work if you have done it correctly but another thing that you have to keep in mind is that to not launch elden ring with this this batch file as this is the file that you want to use if you have not installed Elden Ring's mod engine to the main game directory that is the scenario that you can do if you have bought the game through Steam if you have not brought, bought the game through Steam you're going to want to launch mod engine to launch over here which if you have modded the game correctly and everything it's going to load up as you can see there's another thing that I want to tell you guys about. It's another trick that you can use to mod Elden Ring, but it involves manipulating Steam's base files. And I'm not going to recommend that because if you do buy games from Steam and it's just Elden Ring that you haven't bought, there's a high percentage of cha uh, chance that you are going to get banned from Steam. And I'll personally not recommend you taking that risk as well if you have bought any other game you aren't going to get any refunds once you're banned from steam or anything so i'd recommend if you have no games that you have bought from steam you can obviously go through with that steps but it's personally the most complicated way of modding elden ring and personally i feel it's a bit unnecessary but it is the other way if this method doesn't work for you guys it's the other way that you can use to mod the game so as you can see we have loaded up into elden ring now what the, this mod does is basically add a bunch of boss and NPC summons that you can use as you can see over here. It also adds some of the berserker gear over here as you can see and also in, 
Artorias' weapon over here, as you can see. So basically, since I already have a summon selected over here, Melania, I'm gonna summon her over here. As you can see, the mod clearly works. And, you, and it will work if you have installed it correctly. And you have to also keep in mind another thing. This is quite important that you have to keep in mind is that you have to ensure that your game is running on the latest version of Elden Ring which at this point of time is 1.9.1 .1. this is also important as mod engine and mods in general will not work if you don't have the game version 1.9.1 .1. so I hope you guys were able to like learn how to install mods into Elden Ring if you have any further issues you can contact me in the comment section below I'm also going to link all the mods and mod engine to links in the description of the video. So bye guys. See you next time.